In this video, we'll give you an understanding of the vehicle hierarchy of controls and explain how this applies at uncontrolled intersections in the Newmont Boddington Gold Mining Operations Area. People are our most important asset. So with your safety in mind, a traffic management strategy has been researched on site to deal with one of our biggest risks, which is the obstructed vision from the operator cabs of the diverse range of mobile equipment operated here on site. Use of traditional WA Main Roads Department signage and road rules was not deemed best practice for our operating climate. As a result, changes were required to the vehicle hierarchy of controls and traffic management procedures by removing posted signage controls and adopting a simple vehicle hierarchy of control at intersections and across the pit in general. Where posted signage is to be removed from intersections, these will now be referred to as uncontrolled intersections. Through your active learning, this vehicle hierarchy of control implementation will reinforce the Newmont value of zero harm through industry-leading performance. At the completion of this training demonstration video, you will have to complete a theory assessment and practical driving test to prove your understanding. On site, we have two different types of permits for drivers entering the mining operations areas. These include restricted and unrestricted permits. A restricted permit allows the driver to operate during daylight hours only. An unrestricted permit allows the driver to operate during both day and night hours. Before we talk about the hierarchy of controls, it's important to consider just how much a haul truck driver can actually see while driving, and more importantly, their blind spots. One of the main reasons that we're changing to a vehicle hierarchy of control for use at uncontrolled intersections is due to the lack of peripheral vision encountered by haul truck operators. In this example, the haul truck driver is checking his windows and mirrors correctly and sees no obstacles or dangers. Yet, if we look from the outside, it's amazing what he's missed due to the truck's blind spots. The basic safety principle of give way to the right is for public roads with right-hand drive vehicles, which gives the drivers the best vision of approaching traffic. But the opposite is true in regards to haul trucks. So we have changed our procedure to align with industry best practice. Vehicles on site fall into a range of different hierarchy levels. Emergency vehicles with flashing lights and sirens activated are the highest priority and have right of way at all times. Remember that flashing lights and sirens must be activated for hierarchy level one to apply. Vehicles with the second highest hierarchy level are haul trucks. Hierarchy level two vehicles have right of way at all uncontrolled intersections after hierarchy one vehicles. When level two vehicles interact with each other, then they must give way to the left. Ancillary equipment are third in the line of hierarchy levels. This includes surface mining equipment like graders, loaders, dozers, excavators, shovels and drill rigs. Level 3 vehicles must give way to Hierarchy Level 1 and Level 2 vehicles. When Hierarchy Level 3 vehicles interact with each other, they must give way to their left. Slower moving production equipment may authorise passing to other vehicles and equipment regardless of their Hierarchy level with positive two-way communications as per our procedure. Level 4 is the lowest Hierarchy level, consisting of light vehicles, moxie trucks and support vehicles. For example, road-going heavy rigid service and water trucks and MMU, as well as emergency vehicles without their flashing lights and sirens activated. Level 4 vehicles must give way to all other vehicles. At any uncontrolled T-intersection, if your vehicle is on the terminating road, you must give way to any vehicle that is travelling or turning from the continuing road. And if you're turning across a continuing road, you must give way to oncoming traffic travelling towards you or turning left. Here on site, we have two different kinds of intersections, controlled and uncontrolled. Controlled intersections are ones which have stop or give way signage in place. 
posted signage overrides vehicle hierarchy of control only for the vehicle approaching the signage. Uncontrolled intersections have no signage in place and vehicle hierarchy of control applies. In this example, Hall Truck A will proceed through the intersection first due to being a hierarchy level two. The grader and light vehicle will give way the grader being a hierarchy level 3 and LV being a hierarchy level 4. Once haul truck A is through the intersection, the LV can then continue straight when safe, ensuring that truck A is a minimum of 50 metres ahead. The grader, as a hierarchy level 3, will give way to haul truck B, allowing it to then turn right. Once safe to do so, the grader will then continue. Posted signage safety controls may still be required in some exceptional circumstances here at Newmont Boddington Gold. If this is the case, surface mining supervisors must risk assess the need for the posted control to be implemented and then communicate the changes to people working in the mine operations area. As this is a controlled intersection, the light vehicle will continue straight through unimpeded. The grader, as a hierarchy level 3 vehicle, will give way to haul truck B, which can then turn right, due to haul truck A facing a stop sign. The grader will then continue. Once safe to enter the intersection, haul truck A can turn right. In this example, the haul truck approaching the T must give way to all other road users and only proceed when the way is clear and it is safe to move forward. This is due to the stop sign. Only the truck approaching the stop sign is under a posted control and needs to stop until the intersection is clear. All the other vehicles still follow the hierarchy of control, which means the LV still gives way to the haul truck. And then the LV turns through the intersection, followed through by the second haul truck. When safe to enter the intersection, and after coming to a complete stop, haul truck A will enter the intersection and turn right as intended. As this is an uncontrolled intersection, haul truck C will stop to give way to haul truck A on its left. Haul truck A will also stop to give way to haul truck B on its left. Once haul truck B has turned, haul truck A can turn, followed finally by haul truck C continuing straight when it's safe to do so. It's important to remember the order of hierarchy for vehicles on site. Hierarchy level 1 is emergency vehicles with flashing lights and sirens. Hierarchy level 2 are dump trucks and modified purpose haul trucks. Hierarchy level three is ancillary equipment such as surface mining equipment, graders, loaders, dozers, excavators, shovels and drill rigs. Finally, hierarchy level four is light vehicles and support vehicles and emergency vehicles without their flashing lights and sirens. If ever you're unsure as to who has the right of way, stop the vehicle and make positive two-way communication with the other road users. Once a clear plan is agreed, move forward in order of agreed plan. As always, remember to exercise vital behaviours and always follow procedures, manage fatigue, speak up if required and stop if you're feeling pressured. If you're unclear about anything in this video, talk to your supervisor.